Hey y'all, I just received the results to my MT, my mitochondrial DNA tests, and um, they included my haplogroup and ancestral origins. So what was the verdict? Haplogroup H. Um, the test results put me firmly in um, haplogroup, H, haplogroup H, excuse me, which is the most common mtDNA haplogroup in Europe. About 50% of Europeans um, have this haplogroup uh, where they to have their mtDNA tested. So um, for me, finding out that I uh, have haplogroup H mtDNA uh, is not a big surprise because um, I'm finding that most of my mom's side of the family it seems to come from around England, uh, as far back as we can trace. Um, however, I did want to clear up a common misconception that people seem to have about these haplogroup tests. Um, a Y-DNA test or an MT-DNA test for your haplogroup is only going to tell you something about the origins of a single ancestor um, thousands of years ago. So, <clears throat> in my case, around 20 or 30,000 years ago, um, I had a great, 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 and so forth grandmother who um, lived somewhere in Europe. Um, and that's about all the tests that can, uh, that's about all the tests can tell you. Aside from, of course, um, the possibility of finding uh, distant cousins with the same uh, sets of mutations. So you might think that this man is what all people with haplogroup HMT DNA look like. Um, people though who are haplogroup H today can look uh, very different from this. They can look like this, 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 or this. Um, I think it's really cool to see how all of us, whether we look alike or not, can find some common links and origins through testing like this. So that aside, I thought it would be interesting to hear from any of you who have also been tested. Um, what's your haplogroup? Uh, did it surprise you? So please post your videos. It would be great to see your faces. Um, if you can't post a video, just leave a comment. And I look forward to hearing about all the haplogroups that y'all represent.